Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please subscribe and subscribe down below. Hit the little bell button so you don't miss any of my content. If you came back, hey mamas. I haven't started a video in my bathroom in a very long time. Welcome back. Did you miss it? I know I did. But I've had a very, very hectic day. I'm so sorry for not, or I'm so sorry for falling off, I'll say, on my consistency on YouTube. But we're actually almost at 1K subscribers, which is really so cool. Um, so hopefully we're able to hit that soon. Definitely still working on the watch hour aspect of it, but I'm just really happy in general that y'all are even rocking with me enough to subscribe to my content. You feel me? Anyway, um, I've had a very chaotic weekend. I actually drove back from New York today, like... I got home like 30 minutes ago and laid down for a few. Um, but right now I'm going to actually get ready to go meet an internet friend that a lot of y'all might know. That'll be super, super exciting. So I'm actually going to get ready. Also, this is going to be a Camille chat. I'm going to give you guys some updates on my life. I feel like a lot has happened. Um, let's get into it. But first and foremost, I have to take a shower. Um, I'm going to show y'all a few products that I've been using the shower recently that I think y'all should try. Um, if you're looking for new shower products and then we'll get into the actual beauty routine outfits and chat in. So I just finished in the shower, but this body wash by Dove, it's irritation care, fragrance free, ultra moisturizing for dry and itchy skin for sensitive skin. Moisture Renew blend. That is a mouthful. But this is literally so good my skin has been so happy and especially since now that it's getting cooler in philly i'm um, really my skin's really gonna need the extra moisture so i've been using that um i always talk about the nose and central's body or shower butter um that makes me smell super good but this has been my go-to in the shower so if you try it let me know in the comments and also if you have it already let me know what you think all right so i'll show you all my um my outfit in a little bit but Y'all, my life has been so chaotic, in a good way, for the most part. Um, where do I even start? So technically, so y'all wouldn't really know, because I am, I'll say, relatively private about certain aspects of my life. I don't know why I just took my hair down, but I'm going to put it back up, because I'm literally about to do my skincare. Um, so I was in a long-term relationship, and me and my boyfriend broke up in June um, and I did not take it very well um, I think in general like I'm not very social media e with like boyfriends that I've had even like exes prior to him like I like wouldn't really post too much so like y'all probably weren't even aware that I did have a boyfriend at a point but we broke up so I was like whoa you know what is going on um and talk to like to my family and my friends and it was just, like a lot to deal with um and i think it was a lot to deal with and i wasn't ready to deal with everything but what now three months after july was it? three months almost four months after i'm in like a really good space but in the past three four months like i've been traveling a lot so if you follow me on my instagram i've been traveling a lot um I had the Black Women in STEM meetups all summer, um, work also was just like busy, um, and also like I have some other things like that are going to be making their way into the limelight relatively soon that I've been like planning, so like I was dealing with being heartbroken really honestly for the first time, but also there was just so much going on over the summer that like I was still busy and I was still doing stuff so of course I did you know talk to my therapist about it and like I've I've gone through it um but uh, the last three months has literally just been so crazy um so I think the best thing to do would be like talk about what's happening now and then work backwards if I remember stuff but I still do have a timeline so I'm gonna start my skincare also for those who don't know because I have gotten a few more subscribers recently I have very very bad eczema um, so I, um, went to my dermatologist maybe a few months ago and he gave me this ointment. It is prescription only. You can't just like go to, it's not over the counter. You can't just go and get it. But this has been like a lifesaver. Um, 
it is a little bit greasy so if you don't like that then maybe this wouldn't be like the best um option for you but i really don't mind like ointments being greasy at all because my skin is just naturally very very dry um honestly i kind of prefer ointments to be a little bit greasier but this stuff has been voila and also my neck has been like freaking out recently too all right first up we're going to use coco kind's aha jelly cleanser it's a four percent aha blend of hibiscus flower and fermented grape i have used this before um so this isn't my first time using it but okay so this past weekend so many people are texting me this past weekend i went to new york to visit my friend richard so i literally drove back today um it was his 25th birthday richard and i met freshman year of college um and have been homies ever since um so it was really nice to be able to go up there and i actually drove instead of taking the train i hate driving to new york i actually don't really like new york but because parking is so like stressful um but i also like found a parking space literally right in front of his apartment which was like fantastic um but it was super fun he dj'd i like made him a video um and it was just like good vibes i saw a bunch of people from college that um i haven't talked to in a while not for like any like beef reasons but i just like haven't kept up with them that much so like at least that's been like super nice to be able to talk to them uh yesterday and today um but it was so cool he has like a really, really nice rooftop and i love rooftops i love views so that was like really really nice but i drove back today i'm going to dinner with again you will see at the very end who uh, my content bestie she's also a sag to give you a hint so i'm also sad if you didn't know that so i think we're gonna bond really well um i made dinner plans with her and then tomorrow i'm literally going to orlando for my job so for those i don't know i am an engineer um i got my bachelor's of science in chemical engineering and um i work as a scientist slash engineer now so i got this email from a co-worker um they're like i'm cool with and he basically was like hey camille i was supposed to go to this conference on behalf of our company and i can't go anywhere do you want to go and i was like huh like what and y'all know i like travel a lot of my vlogs are literally traveling but i have an experiment going on at work that is like super important so i was like uh like i don't really know and he's like oh well it's in orlando i was like when is it <laughs> but basically it's it's for it's a conference for nobache which is the national organization for black chemists and chemical engineers dope didn't even know i was an organization um and my company is paying for me to go like this is my first time ever traveling for my company um so i'm literally going tomorrow <laughs> i'm literally going tomorrow um I don't know I just think that's like literally so cool and I made a TikTok about this but like one of the most important things about STEM outside of like technical knowledge and just like being willing to fail and like learning a lot is like making connections with people because he did not have to think of me or he did not have to choose me to go in his place um because like he's like much much more senior than I am but he still thought of me and now I'm going on a four-day vacation of course I still have to do things when I get there but like a four-day vacation because like him and I have like a good relationship and he was like you know what like I really think that you'd benefit from this which I definitely will and then also like you'd be a good fit to do this so if you don't learn anything from me at all make connections connections are important and not just like the superficial networking ooh, da -da 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 connections I mean like social connections like what do you do on the weekend how are you how's your family type connection you know what I'm saying all right let me check how I'm doing on time Alright, I do have to leave soon. Um, Alright, so I just washed my face. Ooh. Next, we're going to use Corex. C-O-S-R-X. The snail mucin. I think I put this in a video back when I did Paula's Choice vlog when I went to their uh, event in New York. I picked this up, and I really like it. I really, really like it. But anyway, so yeah. Life has been super chaotic. Um... I also was taking a legitimate step towards a goal that I won't disclose just yet, but then I got an email that 
it's not going to work out the way that I wanted it to. So I was a little bit bummed about that earlier today. Um, but time is everything. I can't dwell on it. It's literally out of my control. Um, but I definitely was kind of bummed because I was looking forward to that. And that was going to potentially start um, literally on Thursday. So I was going to be in Orlando, come back, deal with that. But now, I mean, on the bright side, I guess I am coming back and not having to stress too much. Trying to look on the bright side of things. My lips are so dry. What other things? I also, like, fell off on content in general. I was, like, in a weird... Very, so I'm a perfectionist. I was in a very weird, like, meh. My content isn't performing well or well to my standards. Um, this is stupid. I don't want to do it anymore. Not that, I didn't say I didn't want to do it anymore, but I was just like getting very discouraged. Um, and I'm happy that I'm finally coming out of that little whatever you want to call it because I don't know. Since starting content in October 2020, like I literally am so like joyful. Not even happy. Happy can be like very temporary, but like just very joyful on a regular basis because I feel like my job doesn't allow me to tap into my creativity as much as I would want to. And I like really do like my job. I love science, like like math. Like that's not really the issue. It's more just like I have this side of myself, but I never really was able to showcase my creativity the way that I wanted to. And content creating has literally given me that. Um, giving me that and then also, you know, turn into a, a semi source of income too which has been like amazing and I hope that continues um but I was just in such a lull because like one of my goals for this year we're gonna use coco kind ceramide barrier serum one of my goals for this year was to hit 10k on instagram and I like have grown on instagram it's not like I have, haven't or it's not that I've been like losing followers but I've just been very stagnant um and that's been I don't know just very discouraging, I guess. Um, and I'm not usually one to compare myself to other people, but I have noticed that I haven't compared myself content-wise, at least. Not even content-wise, but like so so many people that I follow like I've been blowing up a lot recently, and I'm very happy for them. But it's just like, dang, like you know, when is it my turn? Um, but I just kind of had to center myself because. I'm very happy with the people that do engage with me now. I'm very happy with the people that are watching this right now. Um, and to always be focusing on like what's in the future wouldn't be fair to the people that are consistently showing up for me now, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm really happy I've been able to at least like change my mindset on it because again, I don't think it'd be fair for me to be like, oh, but I'm at 10K, so like, hmm, you know, cross my, cross my arms, throw a tantrum when like people are engaging with me right now. Like, why focus too much on that? Now, do I still want to hit that goal in the future? Sure. Do I want to hit 1,000 subscribers? Do I want to hit more than 1,000 subscribers? Do I want to hit 40K on TikTok? Do I want to do all these things, like hit those specific number measurements, those number milestones? Yes. But I'm trying to shift my mindset into what can you do right now? Produce the best content that you can. Always change your creativity. Always change up what you're trying to do. And then the rest will come. The people that are interested in your content will engage with it and will follow you and all that good stuff. So if you're a creator and you've also been dealing with that, it's very normal. But just try not to let it bog you down. For my body, I'm going to use Paula's Choice Skin Revealing Body Lotion 10% AHA. It's an exfoliant. Um, I've really been liking it. I, be, I use it on my arms mainly. So I get those like random bumps on my arms. I don't really know what they are. Um, they're not that cute, you know? Alright, I gotta hurry up. I saw this TikTok on my free page and it was like, if you're consistently late, like that's not a cute trait to have and I'm consistently late and y'all literally know that I'm consistently late. I don't be trying to be late. I just, I just be talking to y'all. So what do you get? I'm kidding. It's not y'all's fault. <laughs> I could have started talking to y'all a little bit earlier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Perfect. Alright, what am I going to do with my hair? The 
that might be that might be all I'm doing actually. My hair has been actually really good recently. This is a wash and go from a few days ago. I used Girl and Hair's Nourishing Leave-In. And literally just this. Normally I use this in the defining gel. Like only a little bit, not too much, because I'm not a huge fan of gels usually. Um, but I literally just use this, and my curls are doing what they're supposed to. They have gotten a little bit frizzy. I've noticed that after a few days, if I just use a leave-in conditioner and no gel at all, I normally will end up washing my hair again just because I don't like the frizziness, but she's doing what she has to do. Now also, mind you, I have not been wearing a bonnet to bed, which I should be, but hello. But yeah. So definitely get this. If y'all don't use girl hair at this point, like y'all just don't listen to me. I'm also gonna use Bread's uh, hair oil. This is like a cute, um, I like this version of it just because it's a dropper instead of like the initial container that they had it in. But this stuff smells amazing. Literally so good. It might slick down some of those flyaways I was just talking about. And on the where occasion that it doesn't do that, at least my hair smells good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm. All right. I'm going to put in... It is nighttime, so I'm not going to put on a sunscreen. Don't kill me. I'm going to put on these hoops. I'm going to wear booties. Unless these hoops don't want to go... Okay, there was like... Girl, I cannot believe I still have to pack when I get home. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Cool. They look cute. I'm gonna have to fix my bathroom when I get home, but this is it. I'm wearing this cute shirt. I believe this is from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I think it was a bodysuit at a point, but then I cut it because I like really haven't been liking bodysuits recently. I don't like how tight they are in the front and like you have to unsnap them it's like a whole thing anyway so yeah this is from pretty little thing but i cut it that's why it's a little uneven but it gives it character and then i have all these um dark wash bell bottom jeans from the gap i believe i don't remember what size they are they're feeling a little bit snug right now but i still can sit down so and i think i'm gonna wear booties all right y'all so i'm headed i also decided to put on this um leather jacket I thought I got from Rome when I signed up out there. This is like literally my prized possession. I literally am obsessed with it and it was so much money but I have been wearing it since my sophomore year of college so I think it was worth it. Yeah this is her, my smart water. I also have my phone in my back pocket. I'm recording a day in the life for Instagram. I thought about Ubering, but I'm actually going to visit my other friend after dinner for like a little bit, um, and I'm going to drive there. Also, I somebody put me on to uh, this artist called Dixon, D-I-X-S-O-N. Entire album is bomb, like literally bomb. I wish I could play it with for y'all and like do like a first reaction, but like literally it's so good. So definitely listen to it. Um, I use Spotify. I was also playing with the idea of making a Spotify playlist and like sharing it with y'all because I also am super into music. Um, I don't know if that necessarily like, comes through on my socials, but okay, it's only 20 minutes. Okay, perfect. Or before I was like literally so scared. Starting route to Morimoto. All right, perfect. I've never been here before either, so I'm super excited, but let's go. All right, y'all, I actually found parking which I'm thoroughly impressed. Last time I was here, I literally got a parking or a ticket, so I hope that that's not the case. But let's find... It's a six minute walk. I'm not going the right way. 
But let's go this way. Alrighty. Not there being all this parking. I guess I'm getting my steps in. It'll be. It'll feel better after I eat. Yes. Yeah. 
so fun you will definitely be seeing more of me and Morgan um that was literally so much fun <laughs> oh I love life um but now I'm gonna go home and pack because I need to pack I'm going to Orlando tomorrow um you know that was like super super nice I'm also now going to reshare um, the story that she had because we don't share where we are when we're there um, 
You know, y'all definitely gonna see more of us. Shit. And it's always so nice. We were talking about how like when you have friends that are also content creators, it's just like makes things easier. Like, you know, I'll be able to help or we'll be able to help each other like batch create and like stuff like that. So I think that'll be like really nice. And also just she's like so funny and just like cool. So Wow, this has been a very chaotic video. Thanks for sticking around if you're here. Um, if you have not subscribed by this point, please subscribe. Like, hit the little bell button so you don't miss any of my content. I promise I'll be back and more consistent with videos. Let me get home safely so I can pack and go to Orlando. Bye.